Hi guys, welcome back to another flow. And today we're gonna to be flowing through a morning wake me up vinyasa flow. Now you don't really need any props for this one. However, if you struggle with standing splits, fle uh, flexibility in the back of the legs, grab yourself a couple of blocks or maybe one block because you might want it for this pose if it's too challenging to have your hands down onto the mat. So you can always have like props and things near you if you wish. And we're gonna start in a child's pose today. So come to the back edge of your mat, bring the big toes together. You can take your knees out wide or keep them narrow and then come on down. Relax your belly onto the thighs or in between the thighs. Hands can stretch out in front or maybe use them as a little pillow for your forehead. And just take a moment to like settle in. So if you need to take a little shimmy of the hips side to side, a little adjust of the shoulders of the head, go for it. And then closing off the eyes, just start to connect with your breath. So really start to find that natural ebb and flow of the breath this morning. Checking in if we're holding on to any stress or tension, maybe expectations of the day or what is required of us today. And with each exhale, see if you can just let that melt away. Allowing yourself to come to the present moment. Allowing ourselves these next few minutes of our day to practice being present. Lovely, now closing off the mouth. Start to breathe in and out of the nose. See if you can stretch out the breath, breathing in a little more. And breathing out a little longer. Lovely, when you're ready, stretching the hands out in front, draw up the palms and walk your fingertips away from you. Keep your forehead down so you start to feel a stretch through the side body, maybe into the shoulders, the waist. Good, and then walking the hands all the way over to the right hand side. Maybe your left hand comes on top of your right. And take a nice big breath into that left hand waist. Keeping your left sitting bone grounded to the left heel. Good, let's take it all the way over to the left. Maybe the right hand pops on top of the left. And then breathe in space to that right side. Sitting bones grounded. Lovely, then walking the hands back through center. Come to an all fours position on your in breath. On your out breath, lower down to the tummy. Inhale to lift the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together. And as you exhale, take it back to child's pose. So this is gonna be our first little flow. So inhale to all fours. Exhale to lower down, core engaged. Inhale to lift the heart. And as you exhale, take it back to child's pose. Let's do two more. Inhale, all fours. Maybe you start to exaggerate it. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift the heart. Maybe you get a little higher. Exhale, child's pose. Final time, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lift, open through your collarbones. Exhale, child's pose. Lovely, from your child's pose, tuck your toes, lift your seat into your first downward facing dog of the practice. So sending those sit bones into the sky. Maybe take a little pedal out of the feet. 
a little nod out through the head. Wonderful. And then begin to walk your feet towards your hands. So take your time, they can go in little tiny steps. And when you get to the top edge of your mat, bring your feet hip width apart, soften the knees, allow the head to hang. Awesome, take a moment to little, have a little shake out of the wrists, shake out of the shoulders, shake out of the head. And then interlace your fingers behind you. So loosely interlace the fingers so the palms are still kind of open and then allow the hands to fall overhead. Lovely. And then maybe bend into one knee deeply and then the other. Just allow that fist to fall like wherever it wants to go. And just notice when you shift up the weight in the feet and the legs, the upper body kind of responds as well. Complete, keep the head completely heavy. Lovely. And then dropping the fingertips down towards the mat in front of the toes, soften the knees, and slowly, slowly begin to rebuild yourself one little vertebrae at a time. No rush, no race. Pick yourself up to standing. Shoulders roll away from the ears. Lovely. Inhale, reach the hands high. Look towards your thumbs. As you exhale, fold, bend the knees if you need to. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through the waist. As you exhale, step it back to a high plank and hold. So the legs are straight, pressing back through the heels. And then with the hands, push the floor away so you feel the upper back kind of mushroom a little bit. Good. Let's take a little rock forwards and back. So inhale, rock forwards onto the toes, shoulders over the wrist, like come forwards over the wrist. Exhale, bring it back. Inhale forwards, strong legs. Exhale back. Notice how your core really switches on. Inhale, shift it forwards. Exhale, send it back. Inhale forwards. Exhale back. Nice. Inhale forwards. And as you exhale, bend the elbows. We're going to slowly lower down to the mat. Elbows brush the ribs. Come on down. Whew, well done. Interlace your fingers behind you. And then as you inhale, lift the chest up off the mat. This time, squeeze your palms together so the wrists are touching. Back of the neck is long. Lovely, inhale, lift the chest. And as you exhale, hands underneath the shoulders, nose to mat. Push it back to child's pose for a breath. And then lifting on up into your downward facing dog. Awesome. Inhale, float that right leg high into the sky. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Milk that movement. Inhale, send it up. Exhale to the nose, round it in. Shift the weight forward, just like we did in that plank. Good. Inhale, send it up. Don't rush it. Exhale, left elbow. Find that connection. Shift it forwards. Good, inhale, send it on up. And as you exhale, step your right foot in between the hands, runner's lunge, strong back leg. Take a little rock, forwards and back. Just kind of assess the situation with the hips this morning. Now, we're coming into standing splits, so you can always grab your blocks and they can be here. Otherwise, hands onto the mat. Inhale, lift that left leg high into the sky, coming into your standing splits. Let the head drop down, really point that toe. So the left toe is like pointing and trying to draw a little line on your ceiling. Lovely, release the jaw, release tension through the face. Good, big breath in. And as you exhale, land those left toes back behind you, runner's lunge. When your in breath comes, come to high lunge. As you exhale, settle your shoulders down your back. Awesome. Drop the back heel, open out the arms, finding your warrior two. Shoulders away from the ears. And we are strong in those legs. Good. Full breath in. As you exhale, bring your right elbow to your right knee. Top hand up and over. If you want to go for a deeper variation, the right hand can come to the inside of the right foot or onto a block if the floor feels quite far away. 
Now imagine you had one long line of energy all the way from your back heel, traveling through the side body and out of those top fingertips. So really engage through the hands. Lovely, take a nice big breath in. As you exhale, look down and then bring in the hands to the inside of that right foot. Spin on your back toes and shimmy your right foot to the right to give yourself a little bit of space. Awesome, again, you can be up on blocks. If this is too intense for you, bring on blocks. You can drop the back knee for a couple of breaths if you wish as well. Good, take a little rock forwards and back. Good. And then reaching your right hand high into the sky, finding this twist. Strong back leg. We're coming into a side plank from here, so come onto the outside edge of both feet. You might feel it into your IT band here. And then stepping that right foot on top of the left. Remember, you can always modify, drop that bottom knee. This still counts as a side plank. So wherever you need to be this morning, it's all good. Stack your feet and flex your feet back towards you as if you were standing on them. Lovely, full breath in. As you exhale, come to your regular plank. Breathe in. And as you exhale, lower knees, chest and chin or chaturanga. Inhale, lift in the chest, finding your back bend. Exhale, coming back, downward facing dog. Good, take a full breath in. And a long breath out. Good, inhale, float your left leg high. As you exhale, left knee, left elbow. Find that connection, shift the weight forwards. Good, inhale, send it up. Exhale to the nose, suck up the tummy. Can you kiss that knee? <laughs> Inhale, send it up. Slow and considered. Exhale, right elbow. Nice. Inhale, send it on up. And as you exhale, step it in between the hands. Runner's lunge, we're at that start line. Take a little rock forwards and back. If the fingertips are far from the mat, you can also grab your blocks here. Use your props in whatever way suits you. Don't feel like there's a right or wrong way to use them. You do what feels good. Lovely, and then we're gonna launch ourselves into our half standing splits. So hands down to the blocks of the floor. Inhale, lifting that right leg up into the sky. Point the toe. Really engage through the glute. Head drops down. Really opening up through the back of the left leg. Soften the jaw, the face. You don't need those facial muscles switched on right now. Lovely, full breath in, you got this. And as you exhale, slowly landing those right toes back behind you. Good, inhale, high lunge. Exhale, take a moment to settle the shoulders, settle the breath. Lovely, full breath in. Exhale, opening out to your warrior two. So take a moment to really like settle the pelvis down, slightly drawing the pubic bone to the belly button. So it's not a tuck of the tailbone, but it's a, a lengthen for sure. Arms are engaged and strong. Take a breath. As you exhale, left elbow to left knee, top hand up and over. If you wanna go for that deeper variation, the left hand can come to the inside, maybe onto a block like this. You might find different sides are completely different and you need to do completely different things. And that's totally cool. And that doesn't mean to say that you need to go harder on the tighter side. What if you just went a little bit more gently on your more open side, just to balance them out that way instead? Life in that top hand, remember. Take a breath. And then as you exhale, looking down, bringing the hands to the inside of that left foot. Spin on your back toes. You can nudge that left foot further to the left. Have a little bit of an assess. Forwards and back. Side to side. You can drop that back knee if you need, remember. And then let's really ground down through our right palm. Left hand reaches into the sky for a nice big twist. Reaching up towards that top hand, take a full breath. Exhale, come to the outside edges of both feet 
and then find your side plank. So you can shimmy the foot over, you can step it in one foul swoop, flex the toes, and breathe into every little wobble, every little adjustment as your body getting stronger. Good, take a nice big breath. And as you exhale, come to your plank. Breathe in. And as you exhale, lower all the way down to your tummy. Well done. This time, interlace your fingers behind you. Bring your big toes together. Everything is gonna lift off the mat. So inhale, point the toes, lift the heart. Think about length through the body. So the crown of the head is reaching forward as the toes are reaching back. Good, take one more breath. And as you exhale, come on down, hands underneath the shoulders, forehead to mat. Take a little shimmy of those hips from side to side. Well done. Hmm. Tucking the toes. As you inhale, you're going to push up to a high plank. You can use the knees, or if you want more of a challenge, don't. So when you're ready, breathe in, push the floor away. Exhale, downward facing dog. Whew, well done, full breath in. Long breath out. Good, inhale, bend the knees, looking forwards. Exhale, step or lightly hop to the top. Inhale, halfway lift. And as you exhale, fold, release your neck. Inhale, rise up, press into those feet. Reach tall. Good, as you exhale, hands to heart center. Lovely. Bring your feet hip width apart. So hip width is where our femur kind of comes into our pelvis in the middle and not like the wide fleshy part. So your hips are a little bit narrower than you think. So often when you jump, your legs are landing in your natural hip width um, uh, distance. Quite a good, good little tip there. And then slightly turn your big toes in. Good, inhale, reach the hands high. And then as you exhale, sit back into a chair pose. So zip up through your belly to keep your lower back uh, long. So the tendency is to kind of just let the core go and like find that arch through the lower back. So zip up through the belly, lower back is protected. And then the weight is in our heels. Just make sure you can see your big toes still. Breathing here. So you're digging those heels in. Soften the shoulders down the back. Lovely big breath in. And then as you exhale, fold. You're gonna use your peace fingers and thumb around your big toe now. You can bend the knees as much as you need to. Inhale, look forwards and lengthen through your waist. And then as you exhale, use a little bit of bicep strength to pull belly to thighs and completely let your head go. So take a little moment to take a little nod of the head, yes. A little shake of the head, no, release through the upper back. Good, and then just be mindful that your shoulders aren't hoiked up by your ears. Can you draw the shoulders down the back? And as you do that and use your biceps, you might find your arm strength just pulls you a little bit closer or a little bit deeper into the fold. Good, shifting the weight forwards into the toes. Lift up kneecaps. Lovely. As you inhale, come up halfway onto your fingertips. As you exhale, bring your hands to your waist. It's really important to exit this nice and slow. Soften the knees, and then as you inhale next, slowly come all the way back up. Once you get to standing, slide your hands to your lower back with your fingers pointing down. Squeeze shoulder blades together, lifting the heart, coming into a little back bend, a little standing camel. This is going to be a nice counter pose for that forward bend that we just did. Lovely. As you inhale, slowly come on forwards. Reach the hands high overhead and come up onto your tiptoes. Find your balance, find your focus. Maybe you just soften your gaze onto a little speck of paint or a little mark on the floor. Lovely. And then bringing the arms parallel with the floor, we're going to slowly, slowly lower down so our sit bones come onto our heels, stretching out through the feet. Shoulders relaxed, jaw is soft. 
Good, take a breath in. And then as you exhale, slowly drop your knees down in front of you. You can use your hands. This is a little flow here for our core and our concentration. Good, inhale, lifting the knees. And then as you exhale, boat pose. So sit bones down, fingers and toes off the mat. Good, let's flow together. Inhale, come on up onto the tiptoes. Exhale, drop the knees. So you can use your hands at any point, but see if you can avoid using your hands. That's the challenge with this one. So inhale, come up onto the feet. Exhale to control it down so your sit bones don't get bruised. Good, inhale, back up onto the feet, use the core. Exhale, drop the knees. And just let your arms do whatever they wanna do for your own balance. I just do this just because this really does help me. But you can bring your hands down, you can like use your hands at any point that you need to. But all we're doing is shifting from knees to sitting bones. Knees to feet to sitting bones. So take a couple of rounds in your own time. This does take some practice, but it's really good for your strength. It's really good for your mobility. And it's just a nice thing for like your mind to really kind of focus on and like be with your body. Let's all end up in a boat pose, Navasana. So we're gonna drop those sitting bones down. If you're feeling a little bit like, huh, grab the back of your knees, that's totally allowed. Chest is lifted and proud. Wherever we are, take a breath. And then as you exhale, we're gonna slowly lower down to our back. Take your time, there is no rush. Come on down, huh, well done. Hug the right knee in towards the chest or towards the armpit. Hmm. Allow the shoulders to relax back onto the mat. Good, and then guiding that right knee all the way over to the left. Open up the left uh, shoulder. Allow the back of your right hand to be on the floor and just relax your fingers and thumb. Can you breathe all the way into the front of that right shoulder, all the way down to the palm of the hand. Good, inhale, bringing the knee through center and switch it on over so your left knee hugs in. Give it a little squeeze. Allow the shoulders to be relaxed, the lower back to be nice and relaxed. and then guiding that knee over to the right. Have your left palm facing up and just let gravity do the most part. So try not to like pull yourself or like bully your body into a shape that doesn't want to go in. Just allow gravity to do the most work. Your efforts are done for the day, well done. Checking with the hands that they're not doing too much here. Lovely, as you inhale, bringing the knee through center. Now hug both knees in towards your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze, well done. Let's finish with a happy baby here so you can grab the back of the thighs, ankles or the feet, and then lightly pulling the knees towards the armpits. Well, not really pulling, just allow the weight of your arms to pull the knees down. And see if you can make this as like nourishing and relaxing as possible. So if you're lifting your head and shoulders, maybe grab a little bit lower down the leg so you can really relax the upper body. Maybe there's a little hint of a rock from side to side, if that feels good on your back. Lovely, big breath in. And then as you exhale, bringing the feet down to the mat. You can take your legs out long. You can maybe bring the soles of the feet together. Let the knees butterfly out. And then just rest your hands onto your belly. Give yourself a moment to decide whatever shape you want to be in for this final moment to relax. Check in with the jaw. Maybe give the jaw a little wriggle from side to side. Unclench the teeth. Take a smooth breath in. And a long sigh. 
really feel the weight of your body supported by the mat. Letting go of any thoughts, any analyzing of the practice. And just start to check in with your natural breathing. Completely letting go of any control over the physical body, over the breath. Letting go of any thoughts. Just allowing yourself just a couple of moments here just to float. Mm -hmm. To just be. Starting to slowly deepen the in-breath. And lengthen your out-breath. Starting to flood the body with fresh oxygen. Fresh prana, fresh life. Maybe starting to give the fingers and the toes a little wriggle. And the head drop from side to side, gently just massaging the back of the head. And when you're ready, reaching the hands up and overhead, maybe stretching out the legs. Give yourself a nice big stretch down every side. Lovely. And then scoop up the knees. Give yourself a big, well-deserved hug. Taking a little rock from side to side and then eventually just fall to your right hand side, maybe using your arm as a little pillow, your hand. And just take a moment's pause on the side. Noticing how you feel now after some flow and after some stillness. And then keeping the eyes closed if you can, coming up. To find a comfortable seat, whatever that might look like for you. Rest in the hands wherever feels most natural. And then see if we can just find a little bit of alertness through the spine. So as you inhale, sitting up a little taller. And as you exhale, softening the jaw, the shoulders down through the hips. Bringing the hands together at heart center. Bowing the head to the heart. Take a moment to really thank yourself for carving out this time in your day to look after both your body and your mind. Blinking the eyes open. Thank you all so much for sharing this practice with me this morning. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give a little thumbs up so I know to do more and share with your friends and family if you think that they could benefit for some yoga in their morning routine. Thank you all so much for joining me and I'll see you tomorrow for another flow.